I'm Chef Brittany Williams here at Clark, New England's official showroom and test kitchen for Sub-Zero and Wolf. And today, we're bringing the steakhouse to your house. We have taken three identical fillets and prepared one on our Wolf outdoor grill, one right here on our Wolf range top char broiler, and one in the Wolf gas oven using our infrared broiler. I'm going to go ahead and take the fillet that's been under the broiler out of the oven. The best way to know that your steak is perfectly cooked is to use an internal thermometer. This way, you can get an accurate temperature, which will allow you to know if your steak is rare, medium, or well done. I like my steaks just around medium, medium rare, which means I'm gonna look for a temperature of 125 degrees to 130 degrees. And remember, we always wanna make sure that we allow our steaks to rest. Okay, perfect, we're just at 127. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and let it rest. Same with the steak that we broiled. You want to make sure that you allow ample time for resting as well. Along with those three preparation methods, another great steakhouse trick is compound butter. It is so flavorful that everyone's going to think that you got this from a steakhouse. All you need is two sticks of softened butter, just like this. You mix it with a fork, and you can add ultimately anything at this point. My favorite is an herb and citrus compound butter. So I'm going to take some fresh or some dried herbs, which I have here, some minced garlic, and then the zest of a lemon. You can also use lime and orange zest. So then you just mix this all together. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper too. You form it into a log right on some parchment paper or some plastic wrap like I have here. And you can pop this right into the fridge or even the freezer. Then, at any time, you can pull it out, slice off a few slabs, for vegetables, fish, steak, anything. You can also make a sweet variety, which I have here, which is so great for grilled muffins or even the grilled pound cake. It's just simply the softened butter. I added honey, cinnamon, orange juice, and orange zest. It is absolutely to die for. You can even add cheese to the compound butters. And as you can see, the butter is gonna start melting and almost create its own sauce. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. For more tips and tricks, log on to ClarkLiving.com.